People deluded, I'm back again. Thank you very much for tuning back in each and every time. I'm so happy that you guys have chosen to lock into my content. Please make sure you've hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I can't imagine you haven't. But let's crack on, people. Now, as you know, it's summertime. There's big decisions that young players have to make. And we're now seeing one or two bits of movement with young players. Some Arsenal players have been released. Some have chose to leave. Some have left on loan. A couple have left permanently. And obviously, throughout the course of this video, I'm going to speak about Daniel. Ballard, uh, Daniel, are you okay? And obviously, um, Ben Shafe, who they've all departed, didn't it? Well, Ballard's left on loan. The other two have departed for pastures new. And I wish them all the best because what I like to see is that they're taking a proactive step, especially in Daniel's case, because the club did offer him a new deal. And now he's left to join Brentford on a, um, on a three-year deal, I believe, with an option of another one. And we technically get a fee, having technically offered him a pro. And then... He's going to keep it moving. I know there's a couple of other young players who have been offered deals and only time will tell if they'll choose to take them. You know, you've got Nathan, you've got Kiddo, you've got Arthur, the keeper, you've got Maziza Gongbo, the fullback, who probably should leave. Um, it is what it is. So let's crack on first with, with well, with all of it really and truly, people, man. I, you know, literally what one ever comes on first on screen. So as you lot can see here, people, it breaks my heart. Daniel's left and, you know, what, what, why he chose to leave, nobody knows. Again, you know, what I'd like is that there's probably a clearer pathway of things at Brentford, in my opinion. Obviously, Brentford have a B team. They're playing against more sort of men's quote-unquote sides at times. There's probably a clearer pathway. And I'd probably say because Brentford have less resources, there's probably more emphasis on working with them. So Daniel might get personal care there. Personally, I thought the pathway was clear as day for Daniel and Brooke, who's just small, just just younger than him in terms of age. I think they both could have progressed to the first team and whatnot. But, you know, it is what it is, people. Maybe there's more to the story. Who knows? But for what you can see here, or better yet, let me zoom in. Brentford Football Club are pleased to announce the signing of England Youth International. Daniel from Arsenal, the 18-year-old defender, will join up with Brentford B after he completed a move for an undisclosed fee. He has signed a three-year deal, as I said, with an option of another one. First and foremost, I know he's had a, he had a couple of injuries last season and, you know, probably for some, you know, and he weren't in the team when he was fit for some whatever reason, I don't know. First and foremost, hopefully he can just focus on his football, you know, stay fit listen to the Brentford coaches and stay on the mission. The mission is to make it because I really like Daniel. He's got a, he's a very down to earth guy. Um, I, like you've seen in the interview I did with him last year, you know, he's got a growth mindset. He always wants to be better. He always listens. You know, he was highly rated by Murta Saka, our head of development. So again, this inclines me. In, I'm inclined to believe this is with a heavy chart, um, with a heavy heart. Sorry, Daniel's chose to leave because he believes Brentford's got a better pathway. And he arrived from Barnet at 14, four years later at 18 years of age. He's left. Who knows? Our paths may cross again. As you lot know, he played 11 times last season for under 23s. Um, and yeah, he might be a right back, but he's had a little bit of an education last year playing at centre half and also in midfield on occasion, people. Um, so we're wishing him the best, man. We're wishing him the best. As we know, he's an England international. Um, but his, his new manager said, I think Daniel is a fantastic signing for the B team. He's been at Arsenal for a number of years. We've seen him do particularly well for England recently. We want to keep improving the B team every year. And a signing like Daniel can definitely help us do that. Daniel is a modern fullback who likes to get forward. He has the ability to create for the team. He has a fantastic character and will be a very good addition to the group. And yeah, we're wishing him the best. Hopefully he can make his debut not before long, people. So yeah, man, Daniel, good luck, man. Heavy heart to see you leave. As you lot can see, Daniel Ballard has joined Millwall on loan, people. He made 38 appearances for Blackpool um, as they got promoted to the championship. Why he's not gone back to Blackpool, I don't know. Maybe he wants to stay in London. Maybe the club want him in London. Maybe Mill will play better football and is more suited. And again, this will be his third stint away from the club. We know he's at Swindon before injury ruined that. Um, he had a good spell at Blackpool yesterday where there must have been some indirect permanent offers for this lad. And then there's Millwall. Let's be real. You know, he's done well. Um, and he's developing and things can change. We don't know if Chambers, Marie, Holding, these sort of guys are going to be there next year, even Saliba. I mean, for the next, not this season, starting the next one. So things can change. And he is only 21. But at 21 years of age, with the amount of centre-halves above him, you'd imagine that, you know, chances are going to be limited. So this is to... First and foremost, show Arsenal that they might be making a mistake if they're considering not playing you. I would say to continue his development and also to put him in the shop window. He'll return at 22 years of age. He still hasn't played senior football for this football team. He's played for his country. So something's going to need to change people. And I've, I've, you can check my videos from my very early days of YouTube. I said he's very underappreciated and it was just a case of staying fit. He wears his heart on his sleeve. So I've got no... 
I got no uh, no mistake he's going to be a good signing for them. And as you lot can see here, Millwall announced him on their website, not fond of the club. So I want him to do well, but not the club. Conflict of interest. They've announced a season-long loan. He becomes Gary Rowett's third signing of the window, people. As you know, he's an Arsenal player. Um, he made 30 appearances. 30 appearances last season, although that one said 38, so probably cup games. So, yeah, and he's obviously earned national recognition as well. So it's designed to put him in the shop window, either to leave permanently and settle down roots or to stay at Arsenal next season. But we wish him all the best, man. Hopefully he can build upon the foundations he's clearly set um, at, on his previous loan. And then obviously people you've seen permanently. You, in fact, there's some other players I'm not necessarily going to speak about. You know, Jason, Jason Sark, and never pronounce his name. No disrespect. Um, he's left Arsenal and he's joined Bar um, Barnsley. I think he's actually been given a pro deal. Um, Levy Lang, who joined us from Brentford, um, you know, he it's not going to work out for him. He has actually gone to West Ham and signed a pro deal. So it's nice to see. Ben Sheaf, Ben Sheaf, who... I actually didn't think Coventry would take up make him permanent, really. I wouldn't say he set the world alight, but happy for him. He is signed for Coventry on a permanent. Again, he's a jack of all trades at Arsenal, not necessarily a master of any because he can play in midfield, he can play at centre half, he can fill in that right back. All them opportunities are not going to be given. He's 23 years of age. So he's done well since we signed him from 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 West Ham. I think he's a very he's been an under underappreciated player. I think if we had less resources, he could be a good stop, uh, a good filling, a squad filler player. People he can do a lot. He can play at the base of midfield. He can play as an eight, play as a six. You know, he can do a job at centre half as well as um, right back. Well, it's just down to him to settle down roots now, people. As you lot can see here, the 23 year old has signed a three year deal with commentary people for an undisclosed fee. There was an option to make it permanent last season. I would, did feel he was a bit part player and in and out the team, but he's done enough to convince them to take him permanent. They finished 16th, so he will be, a, you know, he playing championship football and he's 32 year, and, he, and he made 32 apps. So I'm wishing him all the best, but now football's real. He's 23. He's got a three-year deal he's playing in the championship and they just about stayed in so they've got to stay in or things can happen mark robbins has said we are pleased to welcome ben back to coventry he showed great potential at Arsenal, which prompted us to sign him last season. And he reaffirmed that during his loan spell, we're delighted to add him to our squad on a permanent basis and look forward to working with him, people. So, yeah, man, obviously there's a lot of twists and turns and dips and dives as a, as, as a young pro, but I'm happy to see they've all seized their futures, people. And we're wishing them all the best, really and truly. Hopefully Daniel can come back and complicate things. Um, but Daniel Ballard, that is in relation to um, the other Daniel, hopefully he can make his debut for... For, for Brentford and I hope to God, you know, Ben Chief just goes from strength to strength at Coventry. But yeah, man, you know, generally it's nice to see decisions. Are be Some decisions were being forced to make, like in Daniel's case, you know, the, he didn't want to stay allegedly because he's, he's turned down a deal based on that what that thing he has said. Um, some people have left permanently. I like to see the progress because, you know, you're hearing even the new signings from last year are going out on loan. So we probably have to help our young players that are going to be in the 23s with some more experience or some better quality players or they're going to struggle again and just about stay in the league like last year. So I'm keen to see what happens at this level. But I think there's been a lot of progress, a lot of quick moves. You know, Medley's gone to Belgium. Um, Trey Coyle's gone to gone, gone to Switzerland. Ben Schaefer's left. Daniel has left. Daniel Badard has left on loan. Uh, Mark McGuinness has joined Cardiff permanently. And I'm probably missing out on a couple of other bits and pieces. I'd imagine Harry Clark leaves permanently or goes on loan once again people of that nature and that you know if Ben Cottrell depending on his recovery from his injury I'd imagine he's another one that needs to go out on loan and test himself in the senior game obviously Matt Smith um, returns from his loan spells at Sweden slash Charlton um, so I'm key I'd imagine he leaves permanently or on loan you know I, I'm sure people have inquired permanently obviously the second half of the season weren't as good as the first so there probably is going to be some more progress so We'll see what happens, man. And it's interesting to see who will step up from the 18s. You can probably imagine Zayn, Mon Louise, um, you know, Mon Louise, Amari Hutchinson, Charlie Patton. Oh, you know, these are the guys that are going to play a major part. Miguel Z's will still be playing 23s, but you'd imagine sooner rather than later, he either goes out alone or steps into the first team setup. So, in relation to this video, people, like I said, short and sweet. We wish them all the best and we wish them, you know, just simply that they become, can become the best footballer they can be and their potential can take them all the way. Um, on that note, though, people, there's nothing more to say. So please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Get your opinions in and whatnot. Check out the other content. I'm out, people. Thank you for viewing. Stay safe.